What up, YouTube? So, tomorrow we got a couple fights. Um, just going to talk about the um, Crawford and Lundy fight real quick. I mean, it is what it is. This is just another easy fight for Crawford. Um, you know, and, and I'm, I'm not mad at it, you know. I'm not... I'm not um I don't have nothing bad to say about Crawford. Um I will say that I think his next fight needs to be a much more meaningful fight, but you know, this isn't a horrible fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think he I don't think um Lundy really should be in you know, fighting Crawford, but it's not a horrible fight. But, you know, Crawford is definitely going to to just separate himself um be able to show you know a, a a huge gap in in skill i just don't see any way that lundy would win other than a puncher's chance which it's just not gonna happen now as far as um quig and frampton um that's a much more intriguing fight I, um, I personally, I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't seen enough of their fights, but, um, from what I have seen, um, I'm going to go ahead and go with Quig. I think Scott Quig is going to win it. Um, he is going into this fight <clears throat> with, um, more momentum than Frampton is. Uh, Quig had a had a nice knockout over Kiko Martinez, who is um who's actually gonna be fighting um Leo Santa Cruz next. But he had a nice knockout over Kiko Martinez. Um while Frampton yes, Frampton did win his last fight. It was his US debut. Um I can't remember the kid's name that he fought right now. I know he I want <clears throat> it was I know it was um I, I really can't remember his name. But um, I do know that uh, in the first round, Frampton got knocked down twice. And, um, you know, he, he you know, was able to bounce back and win, you know, win by decision. But, you know, it wasn't necessarily a very um, impressive win, <clears throat> you know. Um, I mean being that he got knocked out twice in the first round by somebody I can't even remember their name. I mean, don't get me wrong, Kiko Martinez isn't exactly the biggest name either, but I n at least knew who he was. Um, So, I really... I think Quig has a lot more um, momentum going into this fight. Um, He... I would say he has... He, he should have more confidence than Frampton going into this fight. Now, that being said, as a side note, <clears throat> I read an article yesterday. It was kind of funny. Um, I guess they were fighting over the dressing room. Like, they were literally, these two guys, they fight for a living. They get in the ring with people who who are in there to hurt them and get them out there. Or get them out of there, I mean. And they're going to fight over a dressing room. I couldn't help but to think about a video that I saw a while back by Blood Boxing called uh, Fagton and Queer. He was making a play on their names, and you know, <clears throat> Blood Boxing was um, outraged or upset or whatever you want to call it about the whole situation with Regan now, and. Um, he kind of took it out on them and uh which is fine you know some you know if you feel that you know these two guys are getting you know better treatment and Regan now is getting unfair treatment i could definitely see why you would kind of take a shot at them at the end of the day we're all just boxing nerds 
we all really do respect these dudes. It's just out of uh, out of um, passion, you know. Sometimes we say things that we may not necessarily mean at face value. <clears throat> so that being said, I couldn't help but think about <laughs> him calling them queer and fagton um, after hearing that they're fighting over the dressing room. I mean, it really is female-ish. And, I mean, I don't know. Maybe both these guys are starting to become divas. I certainly hope that's not the case. I hope that maybe this article is just it being um, sensationalized. Because that's the other thing. Like, you got to remember, when you read articles and you read stories, the person writing the story or the article, their job is to sell that to you. Even if you're reading it off of a free website, a website that you don't have to pay any kind of a subscription to access every month, even then, they're selling that to you. Because the more hits that they get online, the more money they're going to make from the advertisers. It's just like TV. Internet is, is you know, TV is... is slowly kind of going away with all these new services and everything well the money is still being made it's just being made in other ways you have to keep in mind that when they're writing these stories and everything they're they're trying to intrigue you to look at it because if you look at it they're gonna get more hits on that web page it um and the uh, advertiser, more advertisers are going to want to pay the money to put their advertisements on their website. So, um, I'm I'm hoping that this is something that was just over sensationalized. That maybe somebody overheard them saying, you know, have a little uh, conversation saying, "Well, I really want that dress room." You know what I'm saying? And um, it really wasn't as big as they made it out to be. Because if it is then, I don't know, maybe these guys should become hairdressers because they're acting like some females. But that, I just thought that was funny. I couldn't help but think about that video that Blood Boxing did. It was hilarious. I'm sure everybody here, you know, if you're listening to this channel, you more than likely already know who Blood Boxing is. So, But if you don't, on the off slight off chance that you don't, I recommend that you go ahead and you check out his page. He's he's funny as hell. He doesn't put out videos all the time. I wouldn't even say he puts one out every week. But when he wants to make a video, he'll make one. And they're always worth watching. They always give a good perspective. And he does have a good sense of humor. But anyways, I hope everybody enjoys the fights. Um... Verdejo's fighting as well. He's he's fighting, you know, uh, another stepping stone for himself. He's another one that I'm not mad at. I just hope that his next fight is going to be um, a more meaningful fight. But Verdejo is still a prospect as well. So even if his next one isn't a meaningful fight, I know sometimes prospects have a harder time getting some of these bigger names unless you're an anomaly like, Anthony Joshua, who even as a prospect had people like David Hay talking about him, you know, and even more so now that he has this fight against Martin that got made. So, but um, I hope everybody enjoys the fights. Hope everybody has a safe weekend. And um, I'm about to get my Friday started. So, y'all have a good day. Undefeated.